Hello, this is Lorraine Hazel, and I wanted to talk to you today about how to talk with your child and encourage their language development. This is for the parents of young children. Um, I was talking to a group of parents last night about this topic, and I thought of a good idea about how to remember um, some words that will help you talk with your child, help you do some things that will encourage your child's language development, because how you talk to your child is important. Okay, the word that I thought up, um, taking the first letters of the important words to remember, is the word diaper. So the D in diaper is for describe. A good thing to do is to describe your daily activities to your child. And um, if you're making a sandwich, describe what you're doing. I'm getting out the bread. Now I'm putting some butter on the bread. The next thing I'm going to do is get the peanut butter out of the cupboard or out of the fridge, wherever you keep it, and just describe what you're doing. Um, it's a great idea to describe tasks because then you're helping your child develop storytelling skills as well. Um, and you can even help them, encourage them to um, tell you back, what did we just do? What did we do first? What did we do second? So that's good. Um, also describe what your child sees. Oh, look, look at that big white dog. He is running fast. You know, so talk about it. Be like your own little narrator and narrate your movie, the movie of your day. Okay, so that's the first thing. D is for describe. The second letter in the word diaper is I. So I, we're going to talk about what is important, if you can see this, what is important or what is of interest to your child. So, you know, people listen to what they're interested and we we want to give our child words so they can talk about what's important to them. So look for your child's interest. Um, if they're interested in cars, then that's what you're going to talk about, okay? And maybe you'll get down on the floor and play with the cars with them and talk about how, you know, oh, wow, I'm making this car go really fast. Okay, can you make it go fast too? You know, kind of interact that way with your child. So, interest, important. That's the I. The third letter is A. So for A, we're going to add. We're going to add a little to what we say. Okay? And um, this is called um, expansion, an expansion technique. But add is a great word, and it's the A in diaper, so let's use add. Okay, we're going to add a little more to what our child says. So if our child says, oh look, the car is red, you can say, yes, I see the red car. The red car is going fast. So you can just add a little more. Maybe your, your um, child is at the one word stage and he's just saying car. So you can say, yes, a red car. Look at the red car go. So you're just going to add a little more um, to your child's speech so they can go to the next level. Okay? Because remember, your child is learning how to speak like an adult. So maybe your child, if you think about the alphabet, your child is at the A, okay? He's not all of a sudden going to get to Z. He's going to have to go through B, C, D, E, all the little steps to get to the end, okay? So they can say the whole alphabet. All right? Um, the next word we're going to think about is praise. We're going to praise our child's attempts. Children love it when they do something really cool and you go, good job, yay, you did it. As you praise them, they're going to want to do it more. And um, that works better than saying that, no, that's wrong, say it this way. Just say, oh, good, I love the way you, you made the k sound in that word. Very good. Okay, so lots of praise. Clap your hands. Look excited. Look pleased with your child. Okay? Very important. Um, the next thing, the E in the word diaper, is emphasize. We are going to model how we want our child to, to speak. So we are going to emphasize um, the things in, in your child's speech that are baby talk but we're going to do it correctly, okay? So if your child says, look, 
the girl running. You say, yes, the girl is running. The girl is running fast. So you're just going to make it pop out of the sentence so that your child can remember it. Also, it works great with articulation. If your child says, oh, the car is wed, you can say, yes, the car is red. Look at that red car. Okay? So that's a very good way to, to um, help your child learn language, is being a good model and emphasizing. And the last thing that we have, oh, you know what? I was holding up the wrong um, word at the bottom. I had praise. I'm going to cross that out. It's not praise again. It's not diapep. It's diaper. So the last one is repeat. We're going to repeat what our child says, emphasizing, you know, what's correct. So just like I said, you know, the car, you know, I see the car is wet. Yes, the car is red. So you repeated it and you emphasized, okay, um, the things that you wanted your child to learn. So there it is. I crossed out praise, just wrote it two times, and I put repeat. So there's the word diaper. So D is for describe. I is for what's important, what your child is interested in. A is for add. Am I still in the picture there? P is for praise. Praise your child's attempts. Okay. Remember that they're not going to get from A to Z all in one day. So it's those little steps that you're looking for. You need to just add a little bit more and um, up your expectations just a little tiny bit, but not overwhelm them or frustrate them because they will shut down and they will not talk anymore. Okay, the next one is emphasize. So emphasize what you want your child to learn, okay? And R is repeat. As you repeat what they say, emphasize what you want them to learn, okay? So that's how to remember um, things to do to encourage your child's speech and language development. Diaper. All right? Thank you very much. I hope you have a fun day talking with your child and trying to do these things. Bye-bye.